The United States raised the alarm Wednesday over the staggering human cost of Moscow's invasion of Ukraine, as the apparent deployment of cluster bombs and other treaty-violating weapons raised fears of a brutal escalation in the weak old conflict. The American warnings came as Russia revealed 498 of its troops had been killed in the assault on ex-Soviet Ukraine, the first official death toll it has given and one Kiev says as by far an end account. And they came on the eve of the resumption of ceasefire talks after a first round Monday failed to produce a breakthrough. On the ground in Ukraine, Russia appeared despite determined resistance to be intensifying the offensive ordered seven days earlier by President Vladimir Putin, in defiance of almost the entire international community. Today was the hardest, cruelest of the seven days of this war, said Vadim Boychenko, the mayor of the key southeastern port of Mariupol who said Russian forces pummeled the city for hours and were attempting to block civilians from leaving. Today they just wanted to destroy us all, he said in a video on Telegram, accusing Russian forces of shooting at residential buildings. Boychenko said more of the city's vital infrastructure was damaged in the assault, leaving people without light, water or heating. In Washington, top U.S. diplomat Antony Blinken warned the human costs were already staggering, accusing Russia of attacking places that aren't military targets. Hundreds if not thousands of civilians have been killed or wounded, said the Secretary of State, who will travel to Eastern Europe next week to show up support for Ukraine and for efforts to secure a ceasefire. Kiev is sending a delegation to the Thursday ceasefire talks at an undisclosed location on the Belarus-Poland border, but has warned it would not accept ultimatums. At the United Nations, the General Assembly overwhelmingly adopted a resolution Wednesday that demands Russia immediately withdraw from Ukraine in a powerful rebuke of Moscow by a vast majority of the world's nations.